Hi, this is Rick. This is a new plane repair script, um, which I'm going to demo and um, show how it works. Works with SOG plans, FIR, uh, vanilla, DLC plans. Okay, so we're currently in uh, F4. Slightly damaged. You are clear to approach. Repair bay one. The guy waving us in. Switch the engine off. Then exit your vehicle. Thank you. It tells you what he's currently repairing. It steps through all the hit points on the vehicle. Okay, he's completed the repair. Uh, a fuel pipe comes out of the fuel truck. Connects up to the fuel tank under the... Sergeant Quinn Malarkey, contact engineering extension 169. Plan shows you what the percentage is currently 52.9, 62.9. The vehicle has been repaired and refueled, sir. So while the uh, plane has been repaired, you can't get back into your plane, it's locked. Now it's unlocked. It works on most sized planes. The only ones that won't work on are the really big ones that can't fit into the hangar. So there's a separate script for that. You are clear to approach. Repair bay one. You'll see that it captures the plane. Switch the engine off. Then exit your vehicle. Thank you. It captures the plane when you come in too fast. So that you can't go shooting off through the back of the hangar.
this is actually you can just simply merge this with your own uh, mission. All you need is a uh, this guy over here, a wave up, a raven guy. And the repair it. And you just copy the hangar. Simplest way is just copy everything. Just copy the hangar and all the contents. Fuel truck is spawned in automatically. And so is that uh, refueling guy. Everything is centered on the this repair uh, this heli helipad underneath us, the square one. The vehicle has been repaired and refueled, sir. Okay, if you get into a really large plane um, and you're trying to take it into the hangar, then I'll show you what happens. Plane is too large to enter the hangar, click continue. Basically turns you around the way you can. So in that instance, you would take it to the repair bay that is uh, minus the hangar, and um, in the process, just get rid of these. Um, units will place them on the ground so that they um, obviously don't fall down and die. Get rid of these uh, observers as well. You just take out the hangar and the rest is, you can use the rest as is. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, if you like this, please give me a like and subscribe. This demo mission will be uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Um, the way to use this in your, in your mission is simply just remove, uh, obviously remove all these planes um, and then just merge this file with your mission or just copy it exactly as is and make sure that you place these uh, the hangar down on a very flat area obviously you can't repair vehicles uh, and you can't place this hangar uh, reliably on, on sort of an undulating terrain uh, simply because you're going to have all sorts of problems with objects glitching and so on because inside this hangar as you saw there are a lot of ambient sort of animations that just sort of just complete continue to repeat uh, sort of on an endless loop the only pieces that are actually crucial to the repair script you have to have these two units a waving unit and a repair unit uh, you need to place them about 30 meters away from a square helipad this helipad is required and it must be the square one. The reason for that is that when you're bringing in a plane, you need to orientate yourself relative to the, uh, the axis of the uh, helipad. And to make sure that the helipad is pointing in the right direction, you just grab it and hold down shift and then point exactly at the waving guy. And likewise, you do the same thing with the, this unit. Hold down shift and make sure you point directly at the helipad. Now these two objects are perfectly aligned, so when a vehicle comes in, he, the script will align him based on the position of this helipad. 
the center position and the orientation of the helipad. If the helipad's pointing off over here, then when it grabs the, the plane, because when the plane comes in, it ob obviously is probably going to be moving uh, a little too fast. It's not going to stop perfectly on this helipad. The center of the vehicle actually needs to be uh, close to the center of the helipad for this script to work uh, reliably. So the script automatically handles this and it captures the plane as it comes in here. So even if you're coming in really fast, it will stop you dead in your tracks and then reseat the plane back onto this position. And then you get out, as you saw in the uh, video. So, um, so that's basically it. And the other thing is uh, you need to keep a little area open to the right of the helipad, which is where the fuel truck is positioned and the fuel pipes that will spawn out of the underside of the fuel truck and then connect up to the plane. So um, it's just that section. It's about 30 meters from there to there. This is the repair process during the day. It uses the same welding refuel system. Uh, it's obviously not quite as impactful visually because of the lighting. Pretty poor refueler over there. The vehicle has been repaired and refueled, sir. Obviously, if you want to, you can, while you're at it, rearm.
If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.